Ensign pulverized. The senatorial scandal turns farcical. Basically, at the same time he said, I'm in love with your wife, you can't work for me anymore. How members of the Christian group, The Family, forced Senator John Ensign to write Cindy Hampton a letter cutting off his affair and took him to FedEx to send the letter to her overnight. And then how the senator sneaked away from them to call her and tell her to ignore the letter, and then he showed up the next day to resume the affair. There will be puppet theater on this. He told me, basically at the same time he said, I'm in love with your wife, you can't work for me anymore. And since we don't have any visual imagery of any of the aforementioned activity described by Mr. Hampton, we return to the innovative new style of journalism we pioneered here, Senator John Ensign Puppet Theater. You have to stop this affair, Senator. You need to pay for Cindy and her family to move away. You owe them money! If you'd listened to me, none of this would have ever happened. Shut, Shut up, Coburn! And you need to write her a letter breaking it off. I'll do it this afternoon! You'll do it right now, young man. In fact, we're gonna drive you to FedEx, and we're gonna watch to make sure you send it to her. If you'd listened to me, none of this would have ever happened. Shut, Shut up, Coburn! <laughs> Does it absolutely positively have to be there tomorrow? Overnight. Ten blocks from here, and that'll be $227. If you'd listen to me, none of this would have ever happened. Shut up, Coburn. Can we stop at a Dairy Queen or something? Shut up, Coburn! Cindy, the mean man have made me write a nasty letter to you, and I don't mean it, and you should disregard it, and I'll always love you. Who is this? It's John. John Ensign. Senator John Ensign. Oh, sure. Did you send the 96,000 yet? John. Cindy. John. Cindy. John. So, you want to go hiking on the old Appalachian Trail? Going 